When I first heard them, it was as if a jolt of electricity went through me. Muse is a really special choir because we want everyone to have equal access to our music. The integrity of the music and what we want to say always has to be delivered. We sing about social justice and that gives life and joy to our music. We bring people together and build community. And one of the things that we value is diversity. No matter what the song is we're singing, if it affects someone, it affects them all. We love to sing for social justice organizations. We go to the Pride Festival. Women for Women. Black Family Reunion and sing songs that are important to them. Every member has a voice. We also highly encourage audience participation. And nothing brings people together in the community like music. The revolution is your discontent manifesting in disconsent. The price of our freedom isn't free. You must be the change you wish to see. Go vote. Greetings. My name is Jillian Harrison Jones, music director for Muse Cincinnati's Women's Choir. And I am so excited that you have joined us for today's concert. We will spend the next 50 minutes singing, educating, and rallying toward the November 3rd presidential election. This election is one of the most important elections of our generation and will determine the fate of this nation for many years to come. But 2020 is also a very special year because we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment that gave me and all of my fellow female citizens of the U.S. the right to vote. If you have not voted yet, and you're still unsure as to who to vote for, I hope that your resolve is made clear after today's concert. You are in for a very special treat. For in addition to special appearances by Marie Elise Crewwich Brown, Emma's Revolution, and the Artworks Youth Apprentices, we will offer a world premiere of Liz Wu's The Revolution, a Muse Commission. So get ready to sing, dance, learn, and be ignited like never before. Buckle up and enjoy. The name of this tune is Mississippi Goddamn. And I mean every word of it.
Welcome. My name is Marie Krulowicz Brown, and I am the Executive and Artistic Director for ISH, a Jewish and Israeli arts and cultural organization here in Cincinnati. I am also a member of the League of Women Voters and a proud member of CLIO, Muse's alumni network. You just heard Muse's rousing rendition of Mississippi Goddamn by the incomparable Nina Simone. Now you may be wondering if it was hard for Muse to choose to include this piece given its strong language use, but I think you might appreciate the anger that this movement is speaking to and will therefore appreciate why Muse chose to include this piece. The vote is so important, more so than ever before, which is why Muse was so inspired to produce this video series. You'll notice four areas of focus in these videos, youth and minority voter engagement, the 1965 Civil Rights Act and barriers to engagement, poor people's economic human rights campaign and intersectionality of black women's rights and LGBTQ rights legislation. It is my now pleasure to introduce you to My Vote, My Voice, My Right by Roy Zimmerman and Melanie Harvey. Enjoy. So my friends, 
Muse is one of the organizations in Cincinnati fighting for social justice through the arts. In fact, their most recent collaboration was with Artworks, where I happened to serve for nearly 10 years in various roles, including most recently as their senior director of programs. Over the summer, Muse partnered with Artworks Creative Projects Manager, Devin Grimm, to share a virtual stage with student apprentices who created and distributed a youth-driven voter guide. This project, called Hear Me Out, dovetailed perfectly into Muse's virtual concert series. By exploring reasons, resources to vote, these youth apprentices empowered their peers, many of whom are first-time voters and future voters, to shape this country's political destiny. We're Artworks Apprentices. We're here today to tell you about the Hear Me Out Guide, which was written in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of Night. Hear Me Out is a call to action constructed by 12 youth artists in conjunction with Reverb, aimed at youth Ohio voters. We want to help you make a change. This guide presents you with a call to action that should not be dismissed. This nation is so diverse in culture, perspectives, and identities all of which need to be heard. The minority should not speak for the majority. We have a duty, we must act. We have a voice that must be heard. So when we're met with the same skepticism that tells us our voices don't matter, we tell them to wait. There's a lot of misinformation that can dissuade young voters, especially from going to the polls and actually casting their ballot. The guide clarifies who's eligible to vote, how to cast your ballot, and when it's counted. It's important to educate yourself so that you can be an informed voter. I'm Gray. I'm Tamia. And I'm Ruby. Are you ready to be heard? This collaboration took hours of Zoom meetings, back when they were still super awkward. You may remember dogs barking, mute buttons on the fritz, children walking in and sometimes on our laptops. Muse experienced the work from home growing pains alongside you. This project also took money, which was somehow easier to find than all of these virtual conference calls. Gala choruses, through their Community Engagement Grant Fund, had the foresight to finance this partnership, which helped re-energize the protest music genre and make it accessible to youth empowered to vote, some for the very first time. Anne Feeney Zipper's song, The Rich Man's House, is a traditional labor song we were eager to share with Artworks Apprentices. It is exactly what my soul needs to make a plan, get to the ballot box, and cast my vote. Before we share the rich man's house, we have to talk, appropriately, about money. With grants from Gala and support from fans like you, Muse can continue its decades-long mission of fighting for social justice. As you listen to the rich man's house, consider the impact you can make with us. If everyone committed just one dollar, we'd be that much closer to our next collaboration. Join us, take back our humanity, take back our dignity, and hit that donate button. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.
thrives on collaboration, and we are so proud to name many Cincinnati activists as friends and partners, including Liz Wu and Siri Imani. We also work with Sherry Hankala, co-founder of the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. Not only do they inspire us in surprising ways, they add rich and diverse perspectives to our repertoire. While the quarantine smolders on with frankly no end in sight, they are on fire and are the heart and soul of why we sing. We invite you to listen to The Revolution, a piece Muse commissioned from the ever dynamic Liz Wu, who believes volunteering is the ultimate exercise in democracy. Hello. I'm Liz Wu, author and composer of the piece, The Revolution. This work was inspired by Gil Scott Heron's The Revolution Will Not Be Televised and started out as a poem. Later, Muse Women's Choir asked me to adapt the lyrics as a choral work, which they are now premiering. When I originally wrote this piece, it was as an a cappella work, meaning there are no instruments accompanying the voices. In fact, I wanted the voices to sound like instruments. So as you're listening, see if you can guess or recognize which instruments I originally had in mind. If you would like to check your guesses, you can go to www.revolutioncincy.com where you can watch a music video that was made later and features some of these exact instruments. 
Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy the piece. The revolution will not be televised. It will not be on YouTube or your mobile device. It will sneak up on you like a thief in the night. Wake you from your slumber with a burning light. The revolution will not be televised. It won't make you rich or shrink your thighs. It will put a mirror to your eyes. A magnifying glass to the lies. The revolution comes softly creeping low. Whispering at times from long ago before aspartame and GMO, fluoride and roundup with status quo. The revolution warns against dividing sight along the crosshair between black and white. And people still questioning on whether it is right for gays to legally unite. The revolution asks how a first world nation has the highest rate of incarceration more if you're of the black male persuasion 5% of the globe's population. The revolution is tired of seeing streams littered with the driftwood of broken dreams. Streets of human refuse denied a home, wondering purposeless and alone. The revolution dreams of a nation where the mark of wealth is in what you share and what you give is the greatest gain and pleasure comes from relieving pain. The revolution promises another way other than our current pay to play. No more wars, no more crooks, banks and politicians cooking books. The revolution will not be televised. It will radiate out from within your eyes and it'll come the moment you realize it's all in your sweat and all in your size. The revolution is your discontent manifesting in discontent. Say no to the trafficking of human soul, the deadly lullaby in my control. The isn't free you must be the change you wish to see the revolution is your discontent manifesting in disconsent the price of our freedom isn't free you must be the change you wish to see go vote emma's revolution 
is the dynamic, award-winning duo of activists Pat Humphreys and Sandy O, oh, whose songs have been sung by the Dalai Lama, praised by Pete Seeger, and covered by Holly Near. With beautiful harmonies and genre-defying eclecticism, Emma's Revolution delivers the energy and strength of their convictions in an uprising of truth and hope for these tumultuous times. Here's their video, Our People Gonna Rise, a collaboration with Reggie Harris and in honor of the Poor People's Campaign and the hashtag Justice for Floyd movement. Our people gonna rise. Our people gonna rise. Our people gonna rise. Listen to our cries through the pain and lies. Our people gonna rise. Our people gonna sing. Our people gonna sing. Our people gonna sing. In spite of everything, hear our freedom ring. Our people gonna sing. Hello, muse and friends. We're Emma's Revolution. I'm Sandy O. Oh. I'm Pat Humphreys. As activist musicians, we know how important music is to keeping folks energized, motivated, and ready to make change. And this could not be a more important time than right now to do all of those things. Great to be with one of our favorite choruses in my home state of Ohio. I know some folks might be feeling a little cynical and maybe a little despairing about this election, but if your vote did not matter, there would not be folks working so hard to suppress it. So make sure to show up, wear a mask, deliver your ballot um, personally if you possibly can, and show up. Uh, we, we, it really matters to all of us. Much love, y'all. Gonna keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Never turning back. Never turning back. Sigamos adelante. Siempre adelante, siempre adelante, sin volver atrás, sin volver atrás. Gonna keep on loving boldly, keep on loving boldly. Keep on loving boldly, never turning back, never turning back. Amaremos con pasión, siempre con pasión, siempre con pasión. 
emoción sin volver atrás sin volver atrás gonna reach across our border reach across our border reach across our border Turning back, never turning back. Vivamos sin fronteras, siempre sin fronteras, siempre sin fronteras, sin volver atrás, sin volver. Familias reunidas, siempre reunidas, siempre reunidas, sin volver atrás, sin volver atrás. Can I keep on moving especially young voters to get out and vote. I believe everyone should have all the necessary tools and information to do so. This will help them avoid obstacles and discourage voting, especially young voters. My name is Gray. I hope to find creative and engaging ways to educate and empower young voters. I believe young people have to take hold of their futures and create a government that reflects our experiences. I want young people to live in a city they have faith in because our city comes alive when everyone gets a chance.
just heard Something Inside So Strong, written by the British songwriter Lobby Sifri, who put to music the struggle of apartheid South Africa, as well as his own experience growing up homosexual. Like so many songs that Muse brings to the stage, his song is at once political, social, personal, heartwarming, and heart-wrenching. It celebrates differences while reaching across those chasms to bring people together. In uncertain times, when it seems our communities, our country, and our world is beyond repair, you can count on Muse to look them in the eye and say, we're going to do it anyway. I want to thank Muse, Cincinnati's Women's Choir, for inviting me to host this incredible special event. We could not do it without the innovation and inspiration of our partners like Artworks, Emma's Revolution, Liz Wu, and Reggie Harris, as well as national mainstays like Gala Choruses. I'd also like to highlight something our friend Liz Wu recently said in an interview with Cincy Chic. Rather than dwell on frustrations of things beyond control, we challenge the audience to focus on making a daily impact through voting with one's dollar, time, actions, and mind. You wield so much power with just one dollar, especially in the age of coronavirus, when the arts are bleeding, unable to perform, produce concerts, or raise money. Now more than ever, we need you if you are moved by Muse, the smallest donation could make a difference. You can make the marginalized voices heard. You can allow female composers and stories of and for women to join the conversation. You can bring voices of color and African-American choral traditions to the stage. You can promote a community of feminist singers of varied ages, races, and ethnicities right here in Cincinnati and beyond. We thank you for sharing your dollars, your time, your actions, and your mind with us today. Thank you for being a beautiful part of Muse. I leave you with a Muse classic, Sisters You Keep Me Fighting. Thank you and enjoy. Cincinnati's Women's Choir stands in support of justice for Brianna Taylor, Oluwatoyan Salu, Dominique Fells, and Rhea Milton. And the countless other black women and transgender women of color who have been killed due to racism and bigotry, either at the hands of police or the hands of homophobic racists. It's time that we stand up for black women in America. It's time that we as women stand together. It's time that we keep each other lifted in this lifelong fight to be seen, respected, and valued. For freedom voices never die. As women, our fight for gender equality is never-ending. As we fight for equal pay and treatment, the basic human right to control what happens with our own bodies, cis or trans, queer or straight, black or white, yet we can't even feel safe in our own homes. But even as the fight continues and the crises multiply, 
we must keep each other strong. So keep that fire behind those eyes because we must win this battle. The revolution is your discontent manifesting in disconsent. The price of our freedom isn't free. You must be the change you wish to see. The revolution is your discontent manifesting in disconsent. The price of our freedom isn't free. You must be the change you wish to see. Go vote.